Hi, this is Asin. Today I would like to share how to show a specific page of a multi page. Okay, this is a user form that I created. So, if, let's say we want to have extra pages, we can right click that new page. If let's say we have we want to remove certain page, we just also right click then delete page. Okay, so for these two pages. What I'm going to do here is I want to make sure all these particulars are filled are completed by the user. So we will insert code in this button. Okay, so from here we can see that the text box okay name from one, two, three until four. Then on the second page is five and six. Okay. So we go to the button, double click, then we insert the code. So we will use for loop to check. Okay, we have two methods here. One is we write to for loop. So from one to four means that check the text boxes on the first page. Okay, so if me dot controls. Okay, this function is to help us to make sure that we can use all the controls as variable. Okay, me dot controls text the text box. Okay, the syntax is very important. Okay, make sure capital letter for T and B. We use emphasis then I. So that we can use, we can make use of the text box as variable. So run from the first text box until the fourth. Dot value equal to empty means that it's not completed. Then we will select the first page. So me dot multi page one dot value equal to zero okay although label here is page one but in vb okay the code is starting from zero so page one is zero page two is one so is zero here then we can also give a message page one is incomplete okay then remember to exit sub if let's say we don't have exit sub then what will happen okay let's check and see okay before that let us finish it and if then next i okay so let's say we don't have exit sub so the user form will run and see so if let's say the first one is incomplete, so page one is incomplete. Okay, then again this message box will turn out because of the second, then the third, then the fourth. So it means that we keep repeating until all the text boxes is already checked. So what we have to do here, we just add as a sub. So it means that will appear only one time. Okay, then after that, we just copy and then we paste for the fifth and the sixth. So second page, which is page value one. So page two. Okay, if everything is done, we can also write a message box to thanks the user okay then remember to close the user form okay then we try and save so we run so let's say the first one is done okay then page one is incomplete because of the second so two three four so page two is incomplete. 
five, six. Okay, already done everything. So thanks. Then close. Other than writing two for loops, actually we can also use the case method. So we just have to write one for loop. Okay, from the first one to the last one, then we make use of the case. Okay, select case, case I. Okay, so we just have two cases. One is from the first to the fourth, okay, which is less than five. And the second case is for fifth and the sixth, which is more than four. Okay, so case, uh, when the case, the I is, more than five so when it's less than five means that it's supposed to be the first page okay then no need to have so many next i because we just have one for loop okay this one also we just remove and this is for when the case is more than four okay then after that after check finish selecting all the cases then remember to end the selection and select okay then we see we should get the same output so empty done page one is incomplete so one Incomplete two, three, four. Okay, page two is incomplete. Then five and six done. Thanks. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.